So in today's video, I want to talk to you about this relatively new Dash component called Dash Player. I'm going to share this link under the video. The Dash Player allows you to embed videos that you have online into your Dash app, right? So here's an example of a video made by Plotly and all types of controls that you can have the uh, uh, present to the user so they can use. Here's a, here's a, a brief uh, example, a smaller example, where I put my last video uh, that I uploaded to YouTube into this Dash app, right? And I have some controls where I can click play. Can incorporate your own data from your Excel sheet. Or CSV. This is his volume here. I can make it loop. So if the video reaches the end and finishes, it will loop and uh, start over again. I can... Uh, mute it, go to 50, to the pages, mute, um, right? So I can't hear myself. And then I could, this is a really cool um, uh, property, the seek to property. Uh, to learn more about that, just go into the dash player properties with this link and then go all the way down to seek to right here. And it'll, and it'll tell you exactly what it is, right? Either a fraction between zero to one or the number of seconds, which will uh, lead you to a certain section of the video. So let's say I want to go to uh, the two minute mark. So that will be 120 seconds, seek two. And this puts me in the two, two minute mark, right? 202, 120, two minute mark. Or if I want to like see the half point of the video, 0.5, seek to and this would take me to the half point mark of the video and this is really cool because there are going to be some videos where you can have uh you can implement interaction with within your app for example maybe you have uh a video of a, of a football play or or a basketball game and you have here on the right side of the screen you have a list of all the basketball players and if somebody clicks on a certain player it will take them to the uh, to the uh, video, uh, to the time frame where that player appears, right? This is like for a, 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 a basketball game or football game, but you can uh, implement this type of interactivity with any type of video in any type of uh, field, right? Um, it also gives you the current time. If you want to uh, write out the current time, it will give you how many seconds have been loaded. Usually it loads about 20 seconds more than the current time. The full duration of the video, 1,400 uh, seconds. And then these sliders that we added in this code uh, down below, slider here, to, to control the volume, to control the playback rate. Look at this, playing. What? Uh, we're going to define the range y is 0 to 5 million. You can see here, we refresh. Um, oh, it's data saved, so we're just going to refresh. 0 to 5 million. On the see? So if somebody's talking very slow, obviously you can speed up the, 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 um, <laughs> the video watch rate. So this is a really, really cool um, uh, component. Uh, but just remember, um, you have to have your video somewhere on YouTube, uh, which is obviously free, on um, uh, Twitch, um, what else? Uh, I don't know. There's many different examples on uh, Wistia um, and uh, many different uh, platforms that allow you to upload video. And once you have the URL, all you have to do is assign the URL of the video to the URL component, right? Dash player dot dash player ID. You can, you can put controls if you want, uh, which YouTube doesn't really uh, mean anything. I don't think so. And then it will show, it will show the video. All right. Um, so if you wanted to look more, if you want to recreate this app, this code, uh, just go into my GitHub. This is all the dash component um, uh, videos that I made. Go into the dash player, and here you have app.py, the full, the full app, which I also have here on my computer. And uh, you'll be able to run this, this app and play around with it. Again, a great feature. Read more about the different properties here. Uh, it's always a great opportunity when you can uh, uh, add videos of other people or videos that you made into your Dash app. Um, so make the best of it. And don't forget that this channel is fully functional because of uh, members and people like you. So if you would like to support my efforts and the content that I provide, uh, feel free to check this patron link out. I thank you very much. All right. I hope you learned a lot 
and always remember we're better together so help each other out have a good one